as the older is Lara Fernandez. She's also a contest. Spain versus Thailand. Both women look at the leg kicks early. Nice two punch combination there from Fernandez. Outside thigh goes Dan Kong Fa. Good outside thigh kick again from the tie. Dan Kong Fa's being aggressive trying to take center circle and really utilize those leg kicks. Lara bringing the elbows in early off the right arm. Good leg kick again from Dan Kong Fa. Body shot from Lara Fernandez. Nice front kick from the Spaniard. The activity is going to be really important here for Laura Fernandez. She wants to try to throw those hand combinations when Dan Kong Fa is coming forward in the end with nice little kicks. The clinch is very much a different game with these four ounce gloves as compared to the regular boxing gloves. Little downward elbow there from Dan Kong Fa. Trying to stay busy in the grapple now. And this is good refereeing I feel from Justin Brown to let them work it out until the momentum stopped. Dan Kong Fa looked to be a little bit more active inside the clinch and she also had a bit like a better head positioning with her hands. So. Dan Kong Fa trying to back out Fernandez. Nice low check to a body kick there from Fernandez. Jab two from the Spaniard. Good front kick on midsection from Dan Kong Fa. High check from the tie. Body shot again. That left kick working its way to the right ribs of Dan Kong Fa. Left hook to an overhand elbow from Fernandez. That elbow off the right arm looking to open up a cut on the tie. High check there from Dan Kong Fa. Catch and counter. Fernandez with a high check. This is very good Muay Thai in the opening round. Yeah, lots of activity coming from both ladies. Uncle Fa looks to be employing more of a Muay Thai style, throwing the hands and the leg kicks, trying to get close, maybe work inside the clinch. On that overhand elbow again off the right arm of Lara. The weapon of choice so far from her. Dipping this once more to the tempo. Uncle Fa trying to get on the inside of the long wings of the Spaniard. Lara on the back foot, jab two, the two into the body, so did that dipping shot. Right hand misses the target. Good right hand finds the target from Fernandez, drifts off counterclockwise. Overhand elbow. Front hit from Duncan Far. Fernandez is, is kind of pulling Duncan Far in, so Duncan Far is just kind of falling around the circle. She needs to cut that angle off and try to trap her up against the wall. Right now she's just following her. But she's being aggressive, she is pushing forward. I feel Lara is landing more. Duncan Fah is trying to press the action. Nothing wrong with fighting off the back foot. And Lara Fernandez doing a good job of it at the moment. Comes forward now. Rocks the head back with that left. Hook to cross. Yeah, Duncan Fah is okay to eat just a couple of shots just to get close enough to try to throw one of her own. Try for the knee off the right there. Did Duncan Fah in the clinch. We go to the towels at the end of one. It's all part of our lead card from the Mall of Asia Arena in Manila, the Philippines. See, here's what I'm talking about. Dong Kong Fa is just kind of coming forward, following Laura Fernandez around, not cutting her off. But once she gets into the clinch, this was a dominant clinch position that she was able to have by pushing the head back and throwing a lot of knees to the body. Both ladies miss right there on a nice little exchange, but then I like that kick to a punch combination thrown by Fernandez. Interesting first round. Might get that slight lead to Fernandez. Don't you stand, you stand, and raise your leg. Don't forget your elbow, don't forget your elbow. It's hard to, it's hard to finish and then throw the elbow. Quarter one, see Dan Kong throw the elbows in the second round. We saw plenty of them from Lara Fernandez in the first. No real damage on either athlete's face as Lara is bouncing up and down her corner. Justin Brown's about to get away, second of three. Who did you score the first round to, folks? Give the winner of the round 10 points, the loser 9 points. Lara using her reach. Lights on the lead footers, most Thai fighters are for Dan Kong Fa. Mark 10. Catch, low counter. I like that little counter she's got right there, but Lara Fernandez goes up top with a head kick. Dan Kong Fa again pressing forward, nice check and a good retaliatory kick off the left leg there. Tuck out and return from Dan Kong Fa, nicely done. Rinas does a good job of putting kicks together. She'll go to the legs and they go to the body right away. She's got a little bit of a speed advantage in this one. It's one of the harder techniques to employ the same side technique where you check the kick and with the same leg you check if you throw the kick. 
Lara very effective on it. Can see some glittering in the round here. Left by of Fernandez from the lead kicks off down the back. Stop, break, step back, step back. Ready? Both trying to remain busy in the clinch. Dunk from far. Goes the inside lead. Lara connects with that nice cross over the top. Good check to the midsection. Another one there up to the chest. Lara looking for the crossing elbows. Hoping to find the temple, find the orbital. Second round, set for three. That push kick's working well to keep her distance and kind of keep Laura Fernandez away from her. Three two there from Laura Fernandez. Again, left to the right, left to the overhand, knee on the inside from Dan Confa. Two knees a piece in this clinch connecting. There's some scoring knees from Dan Gonfar, staying busy. That'll reflect well for her with the judges. And so too there from Fernandez. You see her bringing the knee over the top, trying to find that almost 90 degree trajectory to rail the knee into the ribs of Dan Gonfar. And you also know with the ki as well, so it adds a little bit more to the impact of those knees. Maybe not physically, but also just kind of the overall impression of the judges right now. We've been seeing the Duncan Fizer going forward being aggressive, but Orton Mendes needs to turn on right now. Roundhouse kick, nice to tell the back leg. Jab to overhand right from Fernandez. Duncan Fah, round kicks off both. Goes for the high kick. Got to get on the inside here, Duncan Fah. Through those elbows in that clinch range, you're getting work that it needs. Duncan Fah scoring with the kicks, Michael, at range. I don't think she's hitting with as many of them as she'd like to, though. Good high check from Duncan Far catch, counter. Lara over the top of the hands. And there we have a two down, one to go, Dragon. That was a better round for Duncan Far. She started to be a lot more active, started to go forward. Nice little head kick landed there. But you can see that she was able to counter back with Duncan Far. Lots of more, lot more activity coming from the Thai athlete. Pushing forward, nice little skip here. That's Laura's best punch. That overhand right throws it right over the top. You should lift your legs. And use your long legs. Use your knee. Kick her with the knee. On the count of three. Come on, let's do it together. Fernandez's corner saying they want her to use her length and it's very good instruction because when she uses her length that's where she looks best especially if she can set up that curling overhand right she loves to employ third and final round of Muay Thai action from inside the ball of Angel Arena you're watching the lead card of 1-164 Alright so I'll put you on the spot, how do you score so far? First round Fernandez, second round maybe edge it to dunk on five Good two punch combination. I like the adjustment to the style of the second round from Dunk on Fire. She realized she couldn't quite get close without getting touched by that right hand, so she changed things up and went after the kicks. Outside leg kick missing the target for Lara Fernandez. Front kick there from Dunk on Fire. Catch counter. That was the last counter. The right round kick followed by a short right hand that almost connected. The idea was beautiful. Inside leg, and that's that reddened lead thigh, inside, outside, top of the thigh of Lara Fernandez. In the clinch, gets in for the circle. Typically, you see that with a lot of Thai athletes, so they take that first round just kind of the downloading phase, and then as the match wears on, they start to turn it up. And that's kind of what we're seeing from Dunk Dunk Far. It's really important that Lara Fernandez pushes the pace. And they're getting some very good refereeing from Justin Brown, allowing them to work the clinch effectively until the action slowed. Front kick, nasty duck from Dan Hong Fa. Takes the ball with the feet into the midsection. Lara. Spinning back kick, hoping for the liver. Trying to get an inside here, Lara. And work the knees, the corner ball for. There's a little shot from Lara. There's the knee. And another one from Fernandez. Can she throw the elbow from here? Good scoring with the knees from the Spaniard. Okay, he's doing a good job putting the combinations together here. Very close context. Lara hunting for the body. Sam Gonfar 
but not a fault to slow down. The catch. Good counter. I like that catch to count in the dunk on Foz guy. He's able to catch the kicks, let it go, and then expects to attack the legs. He's doing a good job of it, scoring. Catching counter again from Duncan Fah. Lara goes into the clinch position, throws the knee. Knee got put on by Duncan Fah, hooks the leg. Both of them closing each other out here. Referee Justin Brown separates. 40 seconds remaining. Third and final round. Good push kick there from Duncan Fah. Speed back. This was telegraphed from Fernandez. Now a chance to score in the clinch again. Looking for that uppercut elbow. Lara Fernandez, but the knees did score for Duncan Farr. Could the clinch be telling on the judges' scorecards? Duncan Farr, nice front kick. But Fernandez wants to move to the inside, throw those elbows. There's the other hand elbow. Good tips by Duncan Farr to disrupt that rhythm there. Laura Fernandez has when she starts moving forward. Very entertaining fight. Wherever you're watching, folks, give us a follow on social media at One Championship. Let us know your thoughts on who won tonight. Two WBC World Champions. Coming your way in our next fight, Tagir Kalilov takes on Shaw Fartor Sanctinoy. Some of the action as it went down in that third and final round, the crossing elbow there from Lara Fernandez. The elbows looked good for her in the first round, Lara, but after that I think that Dan Far was wiser to them. Also later on, Superlek Ketelgao versus Pumpayak Jitwanon in what should be a Muay Thai Classic in our co-main event meeting for the eighth time. Both athletes, a confident victory here. Tom Lau is in the circle and let's go to him with the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of battle, we turn now to the judges' scorecards. Judge number one calls this contest in favor of Hernandez. Judge number oh. two calls this favor favor of Bantamag. And judge number three calls this contest in favor of your winner by split decision. Ura!